So we've already heard on a few different sides of the uh, coin and I'm gonna do two quick things before we go into the Narcan training. The first thing I'm gonna do, and welcome to the digital age. I could be sitting up front trying to actually put my phone on silent when 17 people manage to send me messages at the same time. But this time I'm happy it came through <clears throat> because something that I wouldn't have thought of doing if it wasn't sent to me. But I'm going to read a letter. I'm going to apologize because I'm reading it off my phone and I guess I'm getting a little bit older than I was when we started. And then we'll say who wrote this and the timing of it at the end. And a lot of you may have heard this because this was publicized very heavily a year ago. Dear heroine, I'm sick and tired of fighting you and losing you. Either I surrender and you win, or I pick up the gloves and go another round. I surrender, you win. But all you took from me, I can get back, and I will. I am no longer going to fight for you because I'm constantly losing. I am fighting for my family, my freedom, and joy. I refuse to give you my soul and body any longer. I took them back, and now I will show you how strong I really am. I'm taking my life back. Okay, you lay dormant in my mind as I write this, but I am not paying you no mind because all you want from me is pain and suffering and I deserve more than that. Face it, you no longer have your grips on me. I'm not running for you today and I will keep doing what I'm doing. I will get my life back. I can get my life back. I'm done. Do yourself a favor and find another victim, not me. I want to live for now and no longer want to kill myself slowly with you in a needle. You're, you and your needle no longer control me. I used to think I loved you because you loved me, but you lied many times. You have led me astray from my morals. It is time for me to leave you for good. I need to work on myself and be aware of you trying to sneak yourself back into my life. You took my life and joy from me for a long time. I finally was able to gain the strength and ask for help. I can't do it myself, but I finally left you and I will get my life and joy back. I will never forget you, but we can't be together. I'm sorry to do this to you, but you brought me to places I didn't want to be. It has been done, find another sucker. It's time for me to trade you in for a life. This is the art site that's coming up, I'm, I believe this week, if I actually remember the dates. And this letter, um, I just read this, I'll say it. L'zeich nishmas Ephraim Yoshua of Victor Ben Benyamin Maisha, who wrote all of Shalom, who wrote this letter during one of his many attempts to get clean. It's important to note that nobody starts with heroin and opiates, and you're going to hear more about that in just a few moments. It starts from somewhere and it builds up to it, and there's a lot of debate in the industry, what is a gateway drug, what isn't a gateway drug, whether it's marijuana, cigarettes, alcohol, we can go through this in many, many circles. But one thing we know for sure, it starts somewhere, and I'm going to keep drilling this point in because... At the end of the day, and I say this openly, most of what I do is on the crisis side. I'm picking up the pieces on the back end. I'm dealing with people when they're either at their low or when they've already passed away. And people ask me all the time, well, why don't you do more about prevention? And I keep saying I should, but I'm one person running one agency. I mean, I'm blessed, Baruch Hashem, with 13 of the most amazing staff in the world. But it's still, we, we're focusing on what we do. And we need others to step up, but yet we're still here to do as much awareness and prevention as we can. But prevention for these matters must begin at home and in school. That is where they begin. Children at young ages know they cannot cross the street without looking both ways. They cannot touch an urn on Shabbos. They cannot jump into a pool without learning how to swim or have a lifeguard. But yet when it comes to matters of life and death, dine nefashais, to the umpteenth degree, we're sadly, as a community, not anybody that's here, but as a community, we're still in that position where our head is buried in the sand. I had spoken at a convention last year, 
this time um, for school principals nationwide. So again, after reading my favorite doctor's article, I put him to the challenge. I said, hey guys, I have a question. How many people in this room are willing to do random drug testing in your high schools? And I said, wait, there's a, there's a catch before you answer. If somebody comes back positive, I also want to make sure how many of you are going to get that person the help they need and not throw them to the curb and guarantee them a life of misery and keys to the gates of hell. And I was sadly not surprised that none of them jumped up at the opportunity. And of course, the most simple answer I got was, people are going to hear that in my school, there's drugs, they won't send anybody anymore. So let me say something now, and I do this every time I speak publicly, I dig myself a grave and I'm doing it right now. I do not know one from yeshiva, boy school, girl school, modern orthodox, or black hat, high school for sure that does not have drugs in it. Let me say that again. I do not know of any high school in our community that has zero drugs in it. And I'm sure I'm going to get called tomorrow from principals and Rosh Yeshivas and Ravel Yebrudni, the Rav Amudim is going to get called and I'll take the heat for it. But I don't know of it. Now I can't say what I do know because I can't give lists of everybody that we have in treatment, whether inpatient, outpatient therapy, services or anything else. But I will stand by that statement. And the only way that we can deal with this is if we accept that this problem exists, we agree to face it head on, and we continue to, whether it's come to events such as this, do other ones, push our schools, push our leaders, and really go as far as we need to get to, to be able to bring this epidemic to an end.